the sort of charges that we've seen, arson with intent to endanger life, uh, you know, really, really uh, serious charges, violent, violent disorder. Um, uh, I mean, it, and it, it, I suppose during the course of the week as well, there was this debate about two-tier policing, wasn't there? Which, you know, was, in my mind, was nonsense in the context of this. Because if you're going to set fire to bins and push them up against fire exits uh, on a building in which contains you know, 200 plus uh, people, uh, children um, in the building as well. I mean, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, think in that context why people would surface the two-tier policing debate. Um, I'm in, entirely up for a debate about um, uh, whether we get the balance right in policing and if there are some communities and, you know, especially, um, you know, with, with the National Race Action Plan, uh, Black communities, a strap line on that has improved in policing for uh, for black communities who feel, who have felt in the past over policed and underprotected. I'm entirely up for a debate about balance in that context, but not in this context. So the mess the message in this context is that uh, if you're intent on on serious violence in in committing arson, burglary, violent disorder, grievous bodily harm, actual bodily harm, there that's just out and out criminality. And for whatever reason you turned out on the street in the first place, it's it's just pure criminality and you will be dealt with as criminals. And, and we've seen some of the severe sentences that have followed.